I'm Dr. Joseph de Bartolomeo from Santa Barbara, California, and I've been working on the patchless eustachian tube disorder for at least 10 years. My incentive was having the condition myself and being told that there was no treatment for it. As a result, I applied to the Food and Drug Administration, received an IND, and studied it for 10 years. The eustachian tube is normally closed and only opens passively three or four times a minute with swallowing, yawning, or chewing sometimes. Unfortunately, uh, the patchless eustachian tube is confused with nasal congestion, allergies, colds, and hay fever. And the doctor that examines the patient is told that the patient's ear may feel stuffy. That's a generic symptom. It may mean a closed tube or an open tube. If the doctor sees fluid behind the ear, the patient most probably has the typical condition of hay fever, uh, allergic rhinitis, or a congested eustachian tube. Eventually, we determine that the mechanics of a patchless eustachian tube are not a disease process, but a disorder of anatomy in which the various walls are not in synchrony. However, if the anatomy is perfectly fine during observation, the doctor is usually puzzled. But if he observes the patient breathing through a forced inspiration, like covering one nostril and <laughs> The physician can observe that the tympanic membrane moves backward and forward in synchrony with respirations. And during that time, the patient may then complain of orthophony or the ability to hear themselves breathing. We want to achieve that congestion of a normal tube and we accomplish it by patchal end. The problem initially in the patchal eustachian tube is that the eustachian tube sits in the back of the nose. And we want to get a treatment directed towards that that will, in effect, close the eustachian tube. We developed a drug-free product after 10 years of research, which is effective in closing the eustachian tube in over 80% of the patients. However, the administration of the supplement is important in terms of the technique to administer it. The technique we will demonstrate uh, is to lay the head back at a 45 degree angle and then turn it to the right at a four, approximately a 45 degree angle and to sniff the drops back until you just feel them enter the eustachian tube and you have a sensation reaching the ear. There's a stinging and sometimes a burning, but that stimulates the soft tissue to swell a little bit, a little bit of local edema, and that will close the eustachian tube. But with abnormal anatomy, it requires the cooperation of the patient's otolaryngologist to guide them in delivering the nose drops to the eustachian tube. More than 80% of our patients find benefit within one month and do not have to take it again. If not, then they may want to consider other factors and poss the possibility of uh, eustachian tube surgery. The advantage of patulin is that it is drug-free. It is a vitamin complex supplement that, when used properly, will enhance healing of the tissues for future improved function of the eustachian tube. It may take about three months in some cases to restore that tissue. Fortunately, the product Patulend is drug-free and it's free of side effects as well. There are no allergy reactions to it and it can be taken ongoing just as you would any supplemental vitamin for the tissues of the body in general. But this product, Patulend, has been formulated for bioavailability of the nutrient and antioxidant properties through the mucous membrane of the eustachian tube to close it effectively and safely.